amendment in strong support of this amendment, and I ask that you not listen to calls to resist it. This is what we owe Iowans. I have been waiting for two years for this body to allocate the funds from the opioid settlement fund to help Iowans. I asked about it last year during the appropriations process. And this, the original bill, is what we get just pushing the money out the door and washing our hands of it? We have to do better for Iowans. The opioid settlement fund dollars, if used correctly, have the potential for the, to really transform the future of substance use prevention and treatment in Iowa. But to realize that potential, we have to do it right. This isn't partisan, or it shouldn't be. This is about saving lives, saving families, and saving kids. And it's about helping Iowans with these funds that are flowing not from us as taxpayers, but from the, a lawsuit settlement. And it will continue to do so for the next 18 years. It's an opportunity, and opportunities like this don't come around very often. As I said, we're two years late, which has cost 450 lives. These are families who are still hurting, and they're waiting to see what we're going to do. So pretend you don't know my party. Just know that I have spent countless hours on the opioid issue, both professionally and personally, reading, talking to experts, talking to HHS. There's a lot I still don't know, and at the same time, I know more than I ever wanted to. I have a daughter with a co-occurring disorder and substance use disorder. Believe me, I know. So as the legislature finally looks to get serious about the Opioid Settlement Fund, we should both get the funds out the door for treatment and prevention and create accountability so we can see what we're funding, what works, and what doesn't work as we move forward. There are many important benchmarks out there, one of which is ensuring that these dollars go to new funding, which this amendment would do, so they're not used to backfill or replace existing funding. That's really key. And these, these settlement funds should not be used to plug a hole in a budget or to free up state funds for other uses. They are in addition to existing funds. The bill as it stands without this amendment attaches no accountability to how we spend those settlement dollars. This amendment would provide that accountability, which we owe Iowans. Heck, the 500-page boards and commissions bill would require accountability from every board and commission. It's the least we can do when we're taking responsibility for Iowans' lives and futures that we demand accountability here. I've spoken with staff at HHS. They have a whole menu of options. They've listened. And in addition, I'd like to point out that there are efforts underway in this body to combine mental health and substance use districts. Substance use districts. This is something we'll need to take, take account of going forward. This has to be a dynamic process as we learn and help Iowans and then report back. As I said earlier, substance use often comes with co-occurring mental health disorders and we should not risk siloing any of these funds going forward. We do this right, and we'll save lives. We owe it to ourselves and to all Iowans to both get the money out the door, finally, and to create an accountable process that ensures this investment truly saves as many Iowans as possible. We have this one chance. Let's get it right. Please support this amendment.